Hi, how are you? So I want to just uh, show you behind the scenes of hiring um, potential writers, or if not hiring, at least looking at the applicant's answers and uh, potentially hiring them. So let's get started, okay? Um, one second. Um, okay, I got my main job post right here. Let me just go right here, yeah. And uh, we're gonna go to invite, because we might use this for later on. Okay, when we search. Okay, so let's get started with one of the job posts that we want to take a look at first. Let's start with this one now, for right now. Okay, it doesn't have the most applicant. Okay, only two. Okay, let's take a quick look. Uh, wow. Okay, first of all, I'm reacting this way because I didn't expect this uh, a unique topic to be the first. I didn't expect a to see a unique topic. I've never heard of it. Just the first person I looked at today. Usually it doesn't usually happen, right? Uh, but uh, just as soon as I saw the word, right, guys? Pickleball. That's a, that's a pretty pretty interesting topic I've never heard of, right? So it's definitely uh, unique. It's uh, Let me take a look to read this, okay? It might be a topic that's so unique that I want to definitely go for it, okay? And it's not only that, but this person has... Um, Real life experience, been playing and teaching this fun sport for 10 years now. That's a long time. I also run an online group called the Pickleball Rocks National Club with thousands of members. Wow, so she's this person is part of a community. My mom is a professional player, it's in the family, and I have followed in her footsteps while winning five national championships in my division. I have tons of knowledge and expertise I would love to share about this unique topic, okay? Pickleball is the fastest growing sport in America. What? With millions of new players and post pandemic. This is definitely a hot topic right now and will be a great asset to your project, I agree. Uh, not only that, I think it's a unique topic, so that's why I'm interested and I think you have the right um, experience and the passion and the love and the story for this topic so uh, you deserve to you know have a platform to share your message you know this and i would like to collaborate you know i like to collaborate for this book project for my publishing brand how experts so my if i were to come up with a title right but before i do that i'd like to you know just save this information for just for records later on you know when i want to look at the cover letter answers a little bit more i get the url here it's just for the this this specific job um, job post, and I'm going to come up with a title. Okay, it's a basic title. I'll take a ball. Sorry, that, that's probably the wrong spelling. Right? Yeah, um, I've never heard of this topic. Um, it is. I will show you. I, I'll show you guys what this is. I have no idea. Just do a quick search. Pickleball, okay, and here's a quick test for me. Uh, if I want to verify if it's a good topic or not, does it? Does the keyword or the term that the writer uses, not you, but the writer tells you because the writer has to know the keyword. It has to be their, the term they use, okay? Does it have a Wikipedia page? If it does, it's actually a good sign like this. It has a Wikipedia page, Pickleball. Pickleball is a paddle ball sport. It's kind of like tennis. It looks like it, or racquetball, or something smaller, right? Um, it's a paddle ball sport, similar to racket sport, that combines elements of badminton, table tennis, and tennis, okay? Two or four players are used, solid paddles, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So it's kind of like tennis. It's a smaller tennis kind of game. What's the difference? It is, it is its own sport. It is its own niche. So let's do an app. I, I honestly, guys, I don't do Amazon research, but I'm just doing it just to, because people are interested in the numbers. Okay, so if I were to do an Amazon search for this uh, topic, you know, people are interested in what is like what, what do you get the results here, right? How many how many results? 
10,000 results. So that's kind of like high competition, but maybe under books, how many or under Kindle, you know? So how many other books are in this topic? Uh, generally speaking, the lower, the better. People like to say like thousand or less is that is good. This is 6,000. Okay. Because it's combining e-commerce products. Uh, mostly blog books. Okay. Mostly with 6,000 books. Okay. To be honest, this is kind of a, a little bit more competitive than I thought. Okay. And there are books about it. There's a lot of books about it. However, for me, I've never heard about it. And I don't think most people have heard about this sport, honestly. Uh, it's a unique sport. Um, and maybe you've heard about it, but in a random group of 100 people, who's who, you know, most people are not good at pickleball, this topic. So that's pretty unique in itself. Right? So I would be interested in going for it. Okay. So I also got to pickleball. And my basic uh, subtitle for right now, it's not the final one, but it's for right now. Learn how to play the ball, improve your skills, and become a better player. Something like that, okay? Do we need images for this? Honestly, I don't think so, because it's a sport. And we need, so we will request the writer um, to take a picture um, what I like to recommend, although I don't say it, uh, is, but if they do ask, how do I do this? Just get a video camera, you doing what you do, and then take a screenshot of the best uh, pictures. And then you can have 50 to 100 images easily, you know, doing what you do, right? So, you know, I prefer that way instead of a, another third party needed. Or I, I will tell them to, you can use deposit photos and I'll pay for the 50 to plus images, okay? If they are essential only, okay? I don't want images if they're not essential. And I would say generally speaking, 80% books don't need images, only 20% books. I'm actually pretty strict with that. And I actually, honestly, I prefer no images to be honest with you because I like, it's, it's too much complicating for formatting. It takes more time, effort, energy, um, it causes more size, but we got to print more paper. It's just less profit. It's just, and sometimes we print, print black and white, to be honest with you. So is it really necessary? Okay. Okay. How are you going to pick a ball? But for this type of topic, I would say yes. Pick a ball. You got to learn how to swing. You got to learn how to, you know. Okay. So this would be a, just a basic information I would uh, save. Okay. And uh, hold on a second. Okay, let me see something real quick. Okay. All right. Um, another uh, another applicant. Let me read their answers. My number one passion is skill is skincare. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I'm just gonna be uh, upfront. Just feedback. Okay, skincare. I've heard, actually heard that topic several times. Okay, but uh, so. When you hear a topic several times, you have to be a little bit more picky. When you don't hear the topic several times, less. When you hear the topic less, or the, for the first time, you can be less picky, okay, as a publisher. My number one passion is skincare. I have had I have had my cosmetology. That's the same topic. I've heard that too. Licensed for almost 10 years. That's great. That's a long time. And currently working in a medical spa as an esthetician. Yes, I've heard that as well. I, I mean, I'm interested in all these topics, to be honest with you. How to be an esthetician. I think I hired someone about that several times, but maybe it wasn't finished. Um, cosmetology 101, skincare 101, all that. But because this is a topic I've heard from other people, I have to um, wait for other applicants as well. I want to wait and look at other answers as well. I'm now managing other estheticians and training them in skin health. Okay, I work with estheticians and the clients to make sure they have an extensive understanding of skin health process. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, but um, um, so the people I, I would be interested in, I would say are, um, yeah, uh, I would do a short list. I would do a thumbs up, okay? That's what I would do in the beginning. So I have two people I'm interested in. Uh, this other person, I was, uh, I found her answers before, but um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm still deciding on the t title for this other person's uh, topic, uh, which is about productivity for mothers, okay? 
It could be that or tr productivity and time management for mothers or for working mothers. Because in this, as an example, I'm just saying as an example, she's a mom, full-time attorney, an entrepreneur and triathlete. Okay, so she has a lot of things she has to handle, right? So, and she studied, for my quick uh, reading of the cover letter answer, she was into uh, time management, um, people, Stephen Covey, all these uh, personal development experts, Tim Ferriss, and studied it and applied it and was successful at it and wants to now teach it to other mothers just like her. Okay, so now I'm trying. what I'm trying to find out is the angle. Product and time management is a very good niche. I mean, it, it is a niche, obviously, okay, because people are into that. I, I've also listened to uh, one of my favorites is Brian Tracy. I, I listen to his stuff. Double your productivity. I listen to that audio and audible. A very good. It's very short, but it's very 21 golden nuggets. You know, I love it. I highly recommend it, by the way. So I'm aware of this niche topic. Okay. Complete 12 tri triathlons and several running races of various distances. I would complete more if COVID did not happen. I look forward to complete two in person and two virtual season. Wow. I mean, I see another topic here. The more she talks about triathlon, I should just say, hey, why don't we just do a book about how to do triathlon for mothers or for women or triathlon in general? I mean, that, that's something I would. OK, this this is when I see maybe I may be. Maybe like we might have two potential projects, but most of the time, I'll be honest, most people are interested in only one time. Our writers are only interested in one time writing, and that's that's totally fine with me. If you don't want to write a second book, that's all good. I like the detail writing, you know, uh, more than the uh, typical writer, as you can see. And that's that, that says a lot, you know. Anybody who takes time to write in this length, you know, they're going to put that type of uh, effort and quality into the actual project. That's why you want to look at the cover letter answers very um, seriously. Um, I take I only look at the cover letter answers. Um, as opposed to a resume, I don't I don't look at resumes because resumes were done before. They're not answering the specific questions I'm I'm asking that I'm looking for, right? Uh, but three things I definitely look for in writers are number one, topic; number two, expertise. Ideally, higher the level of real life experience and expertise is great, you know. Um, and number three good writing style and writing skills okay that's easy to read easy to understand direct um specific you know not like vague like this is going to be a non-fiction how-to book so we need the writer to be able to uh, get to the point you know be organized structured system you know step by step ideally and with the personality too there's just and have a story behind it too ideally all and you don't have to have all of that Okay, the more the better. Okay, so we're looking for people with a topic, expertise in writing. Okay, so for this uh, writer, um, let me take a look at it a little bit more because I'm trying to find an angle. The angle I had before uh, was this. This is the angle I had. Um, how expert guide to becoming a successful working mom, but I don't think that's the right one. I think it's more productivity to, to productivity. I think that's more of the angle uh, to be productive, save time, efficient, um, efficient, productive. Learn how to be productive. How about this? Save time, time, and
Let's just take a look at your mom. I mean, that's what she describes. Mother. We don't need to all ask. It's too long. She's a working mother. Uh, do we need working? How about that? I forgot to product and time management uh, for mothers. I mean, that's a pretty long title. You know what? Let me see other job posts right now. I'm, I'm gonna get to this later, okay? Let me let me get to this later, okay? My computer is kind of playing with me right now. It's like my keyboard's not really. I don't know what I'm using. My I grew up at an arts boarding school. Okay, thank you. I'm looking for a length and a detailed cover letter and answer. That's why I'm, I'm sometimes I have to move on quick, you know. So let's take a look at this one. Passion is golf. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. But again, I want detailed cover letter answers. It can't be so short. I'm not sure, you know. My Detroit is my favorite city on the planet. Um, hold on a second. What is this? It's my favorite place. I'm in my way around the world more than once. Okay, that's right. I've heard that city several times, so um, I have to kind of wait right now. And also, like, I'm looking for real details and elaborate story behind it. My number one pattern pattern would be photography. I'm asking for. However, writing seems to go hand in hand. Okay, thank you. Again, we're we're looking for more. What, what's your niche behind? What type of photography? What's your story behind photography? What awards have you won in photography? You know, why should we hire you over others regarding the same topic we may hear from other people, right? Uh, we, I grew up in a boarding school, okay. Again, that's not really necessarily a topic, unless like you go into detailed stories about um, you teach at boarding school, you want to teach other people about boarding school, et cetera, as well. So for this topic, I didn't find anyone, unfortunately. So if that's the case, what I do is I remove the posting and I just choose, I just, I'm, I'm honest, no freelancers for requests of skills on this particular job, okay? And then what I do after that, I reuse the post to attract new applicants to come into the funnel, into the system, right? Into the into the uh, to apply for our jobs so we can find new people. That's and you rinse and repeat the process. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Oh, let's take a look at this one. My battery's kind of getting low, maybe. I don't know. I gotta be quick. My number one passion is live con is concerts. I adore the idea of being in a room with thousands of other people, all there to experience uh, the same show. Concerts give people the ability to be whomever they want to be. Okay. Going to concerts, like a concert going, right? Okay, I may I may consider it possibly, we'll see. If you're an average, okay, concert goer, okay. Okay, so she's a concert, this person's a concert goer, right? 101 tips to, how expert guide to concert goers, or how expert guide to concert going? 101 tips to prepare, go and have fun at concerts, you know, without the hassle. In an affordable, fun, responsible way, right? If you're ever customer like me, then you may not want to sit with the crowd. You may want to be in the front first row. Okay. I said there's nothing like seeing your favorite artist live, but there is truly nothing like seeing your favorite artist in the front row. Okay, first row. Achieving this is no easy feat. Though the reward is monumental, you have to put in the work. 
this may end up hold on a second let me quiet this down to spend on a ticket or you okay i see i see i see i've done both of these how many concerts have you been buying the idea ticket might not be okay i know one person i need to hear a little bit more like i've heard all this topic before actually going to concert I've talked to a person who was in the concert management as well in the past. Um, going to a concert sounds simple in theory, and is if you are just there to say, gotcha, gotcha. I want to hear how long you've done this. I haven't heard that though. Okay. Let me see. Um, my passion is backyard bird watching. Yes, something unique. I just, it's just, I think I think this is this is a topic. This is the type of topics I like. Backyard bird watching. You know, anything that's a unique kind of almost like a weird, not in a bad weird way, but different, unique. It's like, are you into that? Wow, that's kind of cool. You know, like, you know, kind of interesting person, right? Backyard bird watching, feeding birds. Backyard bird watching. What was this bird one? I've been feeding birds for at least five years. Okay, I have knowledge of which types of seeds. Okay, great. Bird feeders, techniques. This is great. So all the people can watch and bring, attract birds to their house if they want to. Okay, hopefully, you know, if they want to, okay. To use to attract desirable birds. Desirable birds, okay, not any type. And to deter, exactly, deter unwanted pests, birds, pigeons, starlings, house birds, etc. What about blue jays? I've seen some of those like that. I've learned many lessons since I started bird watching, in particular what not to do if you want to avoid a yard overrun with pigeons and a messy porch full of bird seed and seed shells. I couldn't touch on the benefit joys of bird watching. I love this. I mean, my only thing is this like, why not just do bird watching? How to to bird watching? Why do I have to do backyard bird watching? Why just, 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 just do bird watching? This is already a unique topic already, I think. So let me see what else she says on this topic. Not much on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this person's saved, short list, add notes. Okay, boom. Okay, and then put the URL. Wait. Okay. Then I would come up with a basic title right now. Bird watching. I kind of like just let's just get to the point. Of bird watching. It's uh. Let me let me do a Wikipedia test, okay? Real quick uh, with another. Uh, here's bird watching, right? But do they have backyard bird watching? Now, I'm going with Wikipedia, okay? There has to be a demand for the topic. If it's too micro niche, which is all right. I, I, it's all right to have a micro niche, but if it's too, um, too niche in a niche in a niche, you can zoom out, you know? It's more like a chapter topic instead of a book topic, per se. If that makes any sense, right? So I, th I think for me, I would go with bird watching because there's enough information um, to cover inside this book. Okay, I, I, I like this topic for sure. Let me go back where I was. Oh my goodness, where is it? All right here, okay. Fantastic. Bird watching. Let's just say for right now. I'm, I don't have the subtitles right now. Everything. So that's another potential writer I'm interested in hiring. Right for bird watching. Let's move on to. Uh, let's move on to another. Uh, more applicants. Oh my goodness. Where are they? 
Okay. Hold on a second. That's fantastic. God, let's take a look quick. Let's just be quick now. My number one passion is animals. I work with all sorts of animals for the past 20 years. I've been a veterinary assistant, dog kennel attendant, and have caught, cared for and researched wild animals such as wolves and coyotes. Coyotes. I've also taken dog training courses and read several books concerning animal behavior. For me, it doesn't matter if it's a spider. Okay, I appreciate that, but um, 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 I appreciate everyone, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm looking for a master of one, ideally, um, like... Or if you're, if you, if you, or if you want to go general about animals, like I want more details about all the animals, you know. Okay, I'm looking for somebody who's in, like so obsessed with one animal that they give me multiple paragraphs about one animal. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I've been a chess player. Okay, for ten years. Great chess. Uh, topic. Expertise. Real life experience, 10 years of experience. And uh, let's see, I played chess in 10 different countries and I've taught class chess to 75 students. Also taught chess to other people, okay? Played in multiple countries. Chess is this person's life, okay? This is who they are, um, so I can tell. I have attached a brief article on chess. I mean, I, I can't tell, but you can tell kind of, but they're really, okay, here's a thread. Okay, that's a Twitter. Okay, about uh, soccer, I see. That's not about chess, though. I'm looking for one topic. Okay, what else does this, this person say? Anything else? Oh, wait, there's a what? Chess article. Okay, you wrote chess before. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, again, I actually had a chess topic recently. Uh, I think I hired a chess writer last year. Uh, just recently, actually. So, um I would love to hear more writing about chess. To be honest, okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I will consider. Let me just short list right now, real quick. Okay, I'll consider. Okay, uh, let's get on call. Uh, can I usually? I usually look at people who answer all the questions. Because there's so many applicants. So my number one passion is painting with watercolors. Okay, that's a great topic, watercolors, right? Um, and I love that you have eight years experience, but again, I need the third criteria writing. I need elaborate detail writing, okay? Uh, no matter how great the topic is, is I need the writing to, to be able to judge how good is the book gonna be. You know, how you write the cover letter answers is how I, uh, you know, guess what the book is gonna be like. So the better the cover letter answers, you know, more likely I'm willing to consider, right? My number one passion is tennis. I've been playing tennis 10 years, 11 years, and it has taught me many things about life as well as myself. I've learned about when and where to be aggressive with my decisions. That's awesome, I appreciate it. But again, I heard tennis before and several times, and that's why I have to be pickier with this topic. And unfortunately, I have to move on. Okay, I'm looking for detailed answers about tennis. like. You know, I was in the type of answers I'm ideally looking for. I'm still waiting. That's why I don't have a book on tennis yet. Until I hear someone say I have, you know, 12 plus years of experience in tennis. I've coached hundreds of students. Uh, uh, this is not just a hobby. I actually train. Uh, this is actually my full-time job, you know, coaching tennis to tennis students of all levels. Um, I, I, I went to competitions uh, not just a long time ago. I'm still competing you know, at this age or whatever, you know, I've won multiple competitions, first place for this, uh, fourth place for this, you know, if, I want to hear those kind of stories, you know, you know, I, I tennis changed my life after this, whatever it is, I want to hear those stories, right, ideally that type of writer, okay, if they exist, if not, I'll still wait, okay, let me see, uh, my number one passion in life is, yeah, I'm considering this topic potentially, but again, Yeah, this is like a maybe for some people, some, okay? Like I am, okay, so I have one. How many potential writers do we have? Let's see, take a look, uh, that's one. Now this is a, uh, this is an invite freelancers, gotcha. Uh, this is a, what? 
This has no job. This is a new one. Oh, I just recently posted this. Okay, never mind. I just recently posted this. So this is this is an old job post. We already took we already took a look at that one. And there was no applicants on that one. Okay, okay. Now we're at this one. This is the title I want to figure out because before I hire the writer, I always like to come up with the title and decide as best as possible. Title is easy, but the subtitle, it takes kind of a, a little bit more time, I would say. Essentially, you're coming up with your niche, your angle. You're carving out your angle, your niche topic in, in your title. When you're coming up with a title and subtitle, you kind of like letting the writer know, hey, this is the title and subtitle I have in mind. So that's the vision, the direction we want to cover. Those kind of uh, the ultimate goal of the book is to help the person become better at this topic. OK, I kind of convey that through the subtitle. Productivity and time management. Four. Mothers or something like that. Okay, how to be productive, save time, and uh, let me see. How to learn how to be productive, save time, be productive, achieve. Uh, be productive. Be productive, efficient. Working mother. Okay. Uh, she mentions that's she wanted to work. So I want to kind of angle it towards the same uh, readers, audience, right? Uh, tips to learn how to be productive, efficient. Save time and become successful as a working mother. I like that a little bit better. So we'll do that. And another book I may be considered is hey, she did like how many triathletes, triathlons? Maybe a book about triathlon, triathlete, becoming a triathlete. All right. That's that's later on. Okay. Because I don't want to force the topic on the writer. I, I want them, whatever topic they mention, uh, I'll go with that, okay? Um, I'll lean towards that, right? That's, um, okay, so that's, that's that, that's that. So those are some real-life examples of finding some potential writers. That's it. I got to go.